Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for an all new edition of Diecast Emporium. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a Lego model. Yes, you heard that correctly. I know obviously this has absolutely nothing to do with Diecast, but it is construction related. Allow me just a moment to kind of fill you in on my rationale why I decided to go ahead and review a LEGO model on this channel. Now, as most of you know, there has been a horrendous shortage of diecast models since the pandemic has started, especially in stores. So I found myself walking down the LEGO aisle the other day, just on a whim, not with the intention to purchase anything LEGO related. And I came across this model. Now, it's not a Technic kit, so it's not really catered towards adult collectibles per se. However, it is rated 7 and up. And again, it's not Technic, so it doesn't have any of the motors. You can't hook it up to your cell phone. But it does have some Technic-esque aspects to it, meaning, meaning that you can operate the winch, you can operate the boom, the stabilizers work. Needless to say... There's quite a lot of functionality with this piece, and it looks halfway decent when displayed behind glass or on your desk at work. So let's get into it. This is the LEGO City Mobile Crane. As you can see, the item number is 60324. It is rated 7 and up, and there's 340 pieces in there. You can see on the front por portion of the box, there's two minifigs that come with the crane, and obviously... Over here, there is a piece of road or bridge that you can use to display once the crane is working at the end of the hook block. Here is the top portion of the box. And on the back, you can see more photos, including this one showing the outriggers out, the crane in travel mode, the crane lifting the piece of roadway. And this one has the crane with the boom almost all the way up, and it shows the dimensions. I'll read it off to you. 21 centimeters or 8.2 inches wide, and 20, 29 centimeters or 11.4 inches to the highest point of the boom with the telescopic section all the way out. That's the packaging. Let's take a look at what you would get inside. The main pieces come in one of three bags, labeled one through three. Here is your instructional book that comes with it, and I say a book because it is rather thick. Take a look at that. But don't let that be ominous uh, or intimidating to you because really it's not that bad at all because the instructions are extremely easy to read. So it starts off with, here's your bags. So here's bag one, bag two, and bag three, and it shows you once you're finished with the parts that are located in bag one, your model should look like that. Once you're finished with the parts that are located in bag two, you've completed the truck portion of the truck crane. And finally, once you finish with the parts in bag three, you've completed your model. Again, color instructions, step by step, they show you where all the pieces go and what specific pieces you'll need for every step. Again, couldn't get any easier. Last piece of the instructions that I wanna point out is I believe there are just shy of 150, and there are there are 149 individual steps to completing your LEGO mobile crane. Once you get it built, it took me about two hours. Again, I am not a skilled LEGO builder or collector, so I'm sure that it may take many of you a lot less time to build it, but I took my time and enjoyed the process, so it took about two hours. Once you've completed it, this is what your model should look like. So I put one of the minifigs in the operator seat of the crane. The other minifig is our boss lady with our radio. And here is the piece of roadway that has the connection point for the hook to go through. Taking a look at the model itself, you can see that the main aspects of it, 90% of the crane is in yellow and blue, which I really like that LEGO chose to go with that color scheme because it mimics many real world crane hire or crane companies that have the yellow and blue company colors. It looks particularly good. Also choosing a three axle mobile crane also is very realistic for companies like Liebherr in the real world that have three axle mobile cranes. So once we're on site, you can see the wheels do roll. We have to get this crane set up and ready to work. To do that, you first have to deploy your outriggers or stabilizers. There are a total of four on this model. They deploy out and then you rotate the ends down, seen here. And actually, they stabilize the machine quite well. Now, 
we will unhook the hook block from the front portion of the machine. There are two hand crank winches. These winches located on the right hand side of the machine are what operate the main functionality. The yellow one will raise the boom and the gray one gives you slack and operates the main crane winch. So we've got our machine on site. Let's go ahead and raise our main boom. So we'll raise it up to a decent height, not quite the full extent that it can go because we want to make sure we keep everything in frame so you guys can see it. So we'll go up to there. Now we'll give ourselves a little bit of winch line slack because this crane has one single telescopic section for your crane boom. So we'll bring him out a little bit. There we go. Again, not quite as far as it will go, but I just wanted to demonstrate that that functionality is there. Now we will lower our line all the way down. Bring in our boss foreman lady. Thank God she's around or literally nothing would ever get done on Diecast Emporium. Now we got our piece of road. We need to move that from point A to point B. So, she carefully guides the winch line in to place inside the piece of road. We're going to reverse the process now by going backwards on the winch line to raise it. So we are raising it now. Next, we'll rotate the entire crane towards you. And in the magic of Diecast Emporium, Boss Lady has teleported over to where the device needs to be lowered and now we will lower it simple is as simple does honestly i have to tell you i don't own many die cast or even ho plastic crane models in my collection but the ones that i have seen from friends in the community or even ones I've seen online, I gotta tell you, this thing outperforms many of those cranes functionality and it's a fraction of the cost. So I'm very pleased and quite honestly surprised at what LEGO has been able to offer here. And I think probably the most significant point of this is it gives young people a good introduction into the world of construction and heavy equipment. And LEGO has really knocked this out of the park. From the adult collector perspective, it features a lot of working parts that mimic that of the real world machine. It looks great on your desk at work or in your home office or even in your display cabinet. It's a fun build. I feel like you get your money out of it. And as I've said already a couple times before, it's realistic enough that it looks real unlike some of the Lego kits that honestly, I'd recommend picking one of these up and adding it to your collection. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment and a like down in the video's comment section. And most importantly, please let me know if you want to see more LEGO products reviewed on this channel. It's something that I definitely would entertain in the future. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Be well. I'll see you in the next review.